whistle's gone. Rovers have won 2-1 to go through. Um, don't know what to say, don't know what to say guys. Unbelievable saves here. That was eventful, wasn't it? Shamrock Rovers beating Vikinger 2-1 last time out. Penalty missed in the last minute. A uh, lot of drama, very dramatic scenes, some emotional scenes, I would say, at Tallis Stadium for fans as well. Um, what Europe is all about, isn't it, for League of Ireland clubs? This is obviously a big, big test, a big, much bigger test today against Sparta Prague at Czech Republic. Don't be un under any illusions here, the task ahead for Shamrock Rovers. Six players for Sparta Prague played in the Euros at Copa America combined. They won the league last year, only losing two matches. They were in the last 16 in the Europa League last year as well, Sparta Prague. So they're a serious team. As for Shamrock Rovers, obviously vlogged them the last European game against Vikinger. It was great to see them get through. Played against Bohemians, which I also vlogged in the Cup, and they weren't at it at all in that match. And you know, maybe the one eye on this, but I know Shamrock Rovers fans wouldn't be happy with that, particularly in a cup game against Bowles, but maybe they did have one eye on this. It's lucrative, isn't it, to get through to the next round of the Champions League. Of course, if they're beaten over two legs, they still have European football, which is fantastic as well. I'm hoping for a good night for Rovers, but I did say in the show, in the prediction show and in the European show, I went for 2-0 Sparta Prague. Hopefully I'm wrong. But it is going to be a very difficult tie. But as for Rovers, you know, Dylan Watts playing very well. See the likes of Kenny. Can he stretch the defence? They're going to have to keep it tight, aren't they? Um, home to Vikinger, they're under a bit of pressure for spells in that match, in the second half of that match. Just feel Spartan might take advantage of any spells like that. Look, let's hope the hoops do it. We'll see us in there.
Oh, there's a goal down, um, over playing at the back, they got tossed, Dylan Watts played a pass, intercepted, us, and um, a bit of scramble in the end, but um, one shot was clear off the line for Pico, but Spark to go up front, and that goal to be honest, one nil. Daniel Craig um, cross into the box, unmarked far post, don't know if Pauls will do better or not, have to see it again, but 2-0 Craig. So finish Shamrock Rovers nil, Sparta Prague 2 and it does look grim for Rovers going into the second leg over from the Czech Republic doesn't it? Um, I predicted 2-0 the start of the video you know but you're always hoping they get some form of result weren't you? Um, they gave away the first goal badly, they tried to play from the back, tried to be too clever, got caught you don't get that, you, it's very difficult I think for League of Ireland clubs to do that in Europe uh, and not get caught, they'll be disappointed with that. Sparta 
showed their class at times in terms of their ability and technical ability on the ball. Rovers struggled uh, against that, to be honest with you. In terms of the atmosphere, I thought it was quite decent, but when Prague had the second goal, it did die a death a bit, so I'll give it 6 out of 10. But to be fair to the Stramac Rovers Ultras, um, they kept singing and they tried they tried to get the crowd going right till the end, to be fair to them. It was a difficult one because they just they weren't having it, the rest of the crowd, when they were 2-0 down, really. Well, as well as that, guys, you have to remember, this Prague team, this is a 70 million worth team. They're worth about 70 million. And, you know, often the League of Ireland teams play in Europe, they're punching them above their weight, to be perfectly honest with you. This team's worth about 70 million. So take that into perspective as well before you jump down the throats of League of Ireland clubs losing in Europe. And particularly against a team like Sparta Prague, to be honest with you. Um, but Rovers will be disappointed, there's no doubt about that. It's going to be very difficult now in the second leg for them, extremely difficult. I'm going to leave it there guys, let me know what you think of the comments, um, what did you think of the vlog, what did you think of the match if you're there, if you're a Shamrock Rovers fan, how do you feel about it, if you're a Prague fan, somehow watching how do you feel about it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, talk to you again, goodbye.